Hey guys, and welcome to today's Coffee and Christ. Hope you're doing well today. I don't know if as a kid you ever experienced this or not, hmm. but there was this practice that we developed of drawing a line in the sand and step across that line. Don't cross that line. Yeah, you're suddenly faced with a choice. You know, do you step across and there a fight will ensue? Or do you stay on your side? Kind of dependent on the size of the other guy. Uh, yeah. What did you tend to do? Could you take a good... Well, I had the benefit of always being larger. Um, so I so know. you were drawing the lines? No, I didn't draw <laughs> the lines. So anyways, <laughs> there was this challenge, right, to draw lines, to don't you dare cross that line. Mm. As I consider our society today, especially as we draw closer to election, and just 2020 in general, there have been a lot of things to take place, a lot of differing opinions about all kinds of things. Oh, boy. And we've had a tendency to draw a lot of lines in the sand. Now, on the one hand, that's not necessarily a horrible thing, that we all have something to stand up for. In fact, it's great that we have so many people who are willing to take a stand for something, to believe in something, to say, hey, I'm going to stand for what I believe in. That's great, fantastic. Yep. The challenge is that some of us, many of us, have chosen to take our lines in the sand and draw them on our social media pages. To say, this far, but no further on our social media. Hmm. Which I kind of think might not be the best idea. Unfortunately, many of us as human beings, we tend to not uh, react well when people disagree with us, especially on social media. We tend to react in ways we might not normally do. We tend to perhaps be a little bit mean. Even if you are somebody who can react well, who can engage with somebody well when you disagree, we cannot prevent the trolls from coming out from underneath the bridge. The trolls? The trolls. If you don't know what a troll is, it's somebody whose sole goal in life is to create chaos on social media. They're the ones that want to cross the line. Yes, and they will cross the line uh, just to see who they can get uh, to create chaos in everybody's midst. Oh, boy. So you can't keep them from coming out. So we're faced with this choice. So what do we do? Well, as Christians, Paul in Romans chapter 12 talks about as much as it depends upon you, as much as you can, if at all possible, live at peace with everybody. Mm -hmm. See, as Christians, it's unfortunate that Many of us have responded to our brothers and sisters in Christ who have different opinions than us. We've responded to them in ways that we would never, ever speak to them in person. We, we've hurt our brothers and sisters in Christ simply because they hold a view that's different than ours. Shame on us. And even if we don't respond negatively, some of us have still created situations where we've allowed our brothers and sisters to be hurt. We've created a situation where they could be hurt because of the trolls coming out from underneath the bridge. Hmm. You know, we are family. Yeah. And as family, we're supposed to protect one another, supposed to take care of one another. So not only should we watch how we respond to each other, we shouldn't go and create situations that are going to cause other people harm. So rather than drawing our lines in the sand on social media, allow me to encourage you to do two things. One, if you absolutely must respond to somebody's opinion on social media, if you absolutely must, which I will encourage you not to, but if you absolutely must, use the wonderful direct message feature. And every social media account has them. Use the direct message feature because at least you're not allowing the trolls to engage. And perhaps in that conversation, maybe, just maybe, unlikely, but maybe you will create some kind of conversation that could be beneficial. But at least you'll have removed the trolls. And nobody else will be able to see it. Ideally, though, reserve social media for pictures. Wonderful pictures of your pets. Wonderful pictures of your life and your family. <laughs> Maybe an inspirational biblical quote. But beyond that, don't put anything else on social media. <laughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you strength.